what's up guys welcome to my channel like you know i am your follow follow amebo and abroko mistress here on youtube guys if you are watching me right now and you're seeing my face for the very first time hi my name is vicky welcome to my channel please consider to hit on that red subscribe button and join my family subscribing to the channel turning on your notification bell please all and new subscribers please turn on your notification bell so that you will not be missing out on any aproco any gist any amebo because yes now my hand work be that for this youtube anytime you see me on top of youtube on this particular channel now amebo i come to do i know the carry last for that aspect please guys join me in my everyday I'm a boss section turn on your notification bell so that you wouldn't miss it for us to come and have some gist as your I'm a boss gist body here on YouTube and please check me out on my lifestyle channel the link is always in the description box and pinned in the comment section go check me out there you'll see some of my seriousness I post videos on family and lifestyle and every other interesting videos in between on that channel oh grrr, guys the housemates have been going like the top five they've been going from one interview to the other and it has really been an interesting week so far since the game came to an end but this particular interview was on instagram live nengi lekon and there's also i'm going to talk about also and the first thing is like people and um, fans they sent in quest question for the in interviewer to ask the big brother niger stars you know nengi and lekon and the rest of it you know and then a fan sent him a question asking about Nengi and Kidwire and Nengi had this to say. Oh, uh, go go say make we ask you about Kidwire. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm listening. Oh, oh, be see and Nengi they look you now. Nengi, and Nengi respond. And let me let me want ask me about Kidwire now. Let me want ask me about Kidwire. Hmm. Uh. So how are you gonna describe your relationship with Kidwire for the house and you know all the back and forth, you know, maybe between Erica uh also on your own lane and all of that. So how are you gonna describe your relationship with Kidwire for the house? Uh Kidwire and uh I took I saw Kidwire as my friend because uh you know, going into Big Brother house, I don't speak with them on phone before we enter the house so i just felt like okay this person could actually be my friend i came into the house and i'm like okay i already you know can know this person so that was how it was like we became friends then i found out that he's really similar to me like he they like play like me you know it's just really kid is like a child and i'm like that too like he's really really like a child so i felt like we just vibed as friends but you know people misunderstood my relationship with all the guys i don't know if i'm oliver twist that i want to have something with all these guys like so nah 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 kid not nah, just person way i see i feel like this person could be my friend i know like i'm in any way not even in the slightest bit so you guys stop with the kid questions that one not important to me eh Okay. Uh, thank you for that. Obviously, I think Nengi is not comfortable with the way Kidwire is being put into the situation of her interview. Well, I also understand because that was how they were bombarding Kid Kidwire with the with the question of Nengi, and he was like, "Where is all this coming from?" You get, but that is not surprising because considering the fact that they were always seen together playing and having fun together, so it's inevitable at this very point. But I think that Nengi has said that please you guys should stop shipping them they are not a sheep they cannot be a sheep and they shouldn't be a sheep oh grr, guys please bear with them and also the person sent a question asking nengi relationship with ozo and she was like they're like cat and rats yeah biggie they asked say how your relationship with ozo go through uh me and ozo you know as we be now we be cat and rats we go fight this minute you know Next minute, you don't set to. We're just, we're just, we're like best friends. We're best friends, literally. So, now still the same thing. The same thing we on a for house. Now still the same thing coming outside. Safe. We still, we don't. I don't come out that many days. We don't fight already. <laughs> so like it's still the same thing. We're just really 
two people that understand each other and like know how to always sort our differences we're good we're cool we're still friends we're still really close friends you know i know say i've been i've been break down that saturday say or that they ignore me but now nah, nothing like that nothing like that we're good so i know say you for don't they get you know a lot of questions about us or comments on your page even for you know, don't your tire interview. me <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So what do you feel? Say, yeah. So what do you feel? Say people know they to understand, or then they misunderstand yeah. about on a true friendship. I think the same way people they misunderstand. Uh, people they think say me telling them say okay, um, you know you need to give me some space. People they misunderstand that part. But the reason why I've been telling them say you guys give me space now because I've been feel at some point like say are they you know. At the hinder in game, based on say mm. at some point he had two strikes, and they were cause of like microphone infringement. So you get some points where anytime when they talk low or big brother can't say ah, also check that you're wearing your mm-hmm. microphone properly. People will just look me. So you can't they like say yeah. me. They always talk to when they get those strikes. So at some point I just want making. I don't want put myself in that position where I'll one day in go can't get strike because of me or something like that. If you get what I'm saying. So it wasn't because of it wasn't because I was avoiding him. It was because I wanted the best for him. Like I wanted him to play his game the best way he could. I didn't want that one people they misunderstand very well. Okay. Uh, now when I don't come much, I understand the fact that yeah, I think at this very point, Nega has come to realize that also really likes her and she likes him. And I don't know what is about because today too in a radio station, also was asked where his relationship is at the moment with Nengi and also had this to say. Thank you, Ella. Ella. They are most loyal of friends you probably ever find in the world. Have my back. Uh, she's a really lovable person, one of the smartest uh, ladies you ever meet your whole life. So yeah, I mean, uh, uh, both of us uh, we we'll always have each other's back, and yeah, like till probably till till we both leave this earth, always going to be uh, always going to be loyal and and, and and close to each other. That's for sure. All right, so let me just also was made us to understand that they had their they had each other they have each other's back till they leave the surface of this head. I've been in marriage and they talk about. I've been at till they do us part. Now we're going to try to talk about because now we're going to understand by till we leave this head. So until they do them part, so they have each other's back and I am really happy for them. And then moving on guys, on top of the same Instagram live here they were doing the interview for Nengi. Guys, um, they were asking Lecon some questions from the fan and the, the question that really piqued my interest was when a fan said that does Lecon think that he does, do, doesn't Lecon think he ho- owes Erica an apology and Lecon was like okay the person they asked say if you feel say Erica deserve apology from you maybe you don't have anything I don't know but that question they pop up now so you get any answer for that person I mean, I don't understand because I don't know what's in that one mean because okay. I apologize. So, so, so I don't understand. Okay, so when I don't hear I'm saying no understand. So if you won't come again, you I just drop me, your try explain <laughs> well, they break this question. For exactly. Okay, but um since you come up from the house, you don't speak with Erica. I never really get time for my phone like that. I never see, I don't get phone. If make I don't even lie. I don't get phone. Anything where you see why they use, they do this thing. I just collect them, make sure, say, a day online to do all this process. Now, why? For me, I never settle down, settle down, get time to the boss people, they do all those things. Because he plenty things with the trial run right now, he plenty the interviews and everything. So, it's a lot. And in between all these things, I still they record songs. And in between all these things, I still got sleep. And so, things why they do plenty. I never really get time for phone to reach out to anybody like that. All right. So if you get time for phone when the you know when the things don't settle, you get plans where you get where you think say when I sit down, you know, talk about you get any from that. In the, I, I don't know. It may happen. But right now, uh, uh, the thing where they happen for my head now how to adjust to all these things. So now the my now my priority be that the adjusting to this and moving forward and making sure that uh, you know if you know go 
be for nothing, all these things with the year, no go be for nothing. So now waiting in my head be that and when I don't get time, I just calm down. I if you can't think about how to deal with things we don't happen. But right now this is the main focus. Okay, yeah. So one of the questions we don't always um, we don't pop up uh, from your interviews and all of that, and your fans, you know, from for the ones waiting, we don't wait for you for BBC News bidding timeline. You know, they want they, they don't put questions out there. Um, what do you feel? What do you want to talk about, or what do you feel about Erica's disqualification? You know, they still want to hear from you how you feel about the whole issue, why they go, and all of that. How I feel about Erica's disqualification. Yeah, how do you matter the player? No, no, I know they have to say they disqualify him. I know they have to say anybody. But nobody's supposed to say anybody they get disqualified. No matter who the person be. Nobody's supposed to be happy because that kind of thing, that kind of thing is supposed to happen, yeah? But as it happened, I feel sad about them. I feel sad. Uh, but now I'm be that because I feel say everybody deserve chance to i don't know uh, improve themselves so but i just that's all and the only thing where i feel with that and for me i'm like okay oh erica an apology why because i do not see why eric um, lacon should owe erica an apology if for any reason which i am not being biased somebody owes someone an apology it is erica that owes lacon all the apology in the world for like goldening him for embarrassing him for call, for insulting him like for because erica stripped lacon naked with his mouth and even the cause when erica caused lacon that night even make lacon clothes physically come out from him body at the as, as, as soon as him for the clip when 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 go viral you understand so that's just basically it and i'm like i don't feel like he owes her any apology they can be friends and you should stop bringing this controversy in fact everybody should move on if you're a fan of lake please stay on your lane if you're a fan of elite uh, erica stay on your lane and please they should stop putting more rifts between these people because it's already tensed you know and that's just basically it. and guys the housemates have been quite busy and they have a lot of schedule and you are number one i'm a boy babe on youtube will not be li like like I know we let you carry last. I go make sure say I they bring this story. Come give on now. We go to talk about them. We go to gist about them. Please leave what your thoughts are in the comment section. I really want to us to have that interaction. I really want us to have that conversation. What you think about the response of uh, Nengi concerning Kid Wire, Lacon concerning Erica, and every other thing you have seen in this video. I do hope you enjoyed this video. And please, if you do, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment in the comment section. Let this video be interactive. I really do not like making my videos long, so i hope you enjoyed this one thanks so very much for watching my video and i will most definitely see you guys in my next videos. stay blessed and out of trouble